final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I facility. know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrents if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Before I get too for, too much further into this, I realized that we started with a long-ass cutscene. So, welcome back to Cantina Club and Halloween. We are starting Alien Isolation. And as discussed by the crew, we decided whoever was going to play, lucky me, um, was going to have to be isolated. I am. It's dark. It's the middle of the frickin' night. And I'm tired. And I'm not great with my reaction time right now. So this is going to be interesting. Um, oh, cool, drinky, drinky bird. Drinky, drinky bird. Hold on, hold on, Because <laughs> I know you can do it. Hold on, where's the... There it is. Okay, but... Um, where's the thingy? There we go. Give me your goodies. So, in case anyone hasn't played this game before, crafting is like an integral part of what goes on, and there's nothing in that. Um, crafting is an integral part of what happens in the game. Um, so effectively, like, you craft to survive. So, 
I'm trying to find goodies. Shall I? Oh, so much good shall I'm gonna shower off all the weird all the weird hyperspace cooties. Do I leave tracks? No. Okay. I just thought that'd be a cool little thingy if it did, but it didn't, so whatever. It's whatever. Oh, I don't know if Tim put the weird faces I was making at the intro in. Um, but I was making some weird faces during the intro cutscene because that line, that, that diatribe that Ripley delivers is the same one that she delivers in, like, every Alien movie ever. And I was just like, God, I get it. It sets the mood, but... Ugh. Do I have to listen to this again? Uh, yes, over I did. I'm gonna need to remember that beeping noise because it's gonna be important later. Um, so I don't know if you noticed, but I just walked past the, uh... the little email console because I really don't care. I'm not doing this for 100% completion. I'm doing this for you lovely people and for Halloween. So, ta-da. I talked to Dr. Spock in here. What's up? Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. Samuels. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities. She's a robot. A well-maintained ship. With skin. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering no jobs pens. on ships like this. I find that more suspicious than you'd be in a cyborg. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Speak to Samuels. Okay, I'll go speak to Samuels. I don't know why. Like, the first couple times I tried to record this, the Elgato was giving me shit. So, I was having a moment. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Attitude. Sorry. Here, come down your level. I feel like so that way you don't feel threatened. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You That's get used to it. Technique. I don't There's some do being combative very crouch often. down so you're at their level. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. You have to do it the right way, though, because otherwise it comes off as, if like, I can close the case with a chiding or condescending. It'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years, and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? I kind of feel bad He's for this chair. He's probably been up for hours. Because, like, she's a lawyer. Really? R really? We're on a mission in deep space, and you're wearing high heels. Why does your kit have high heels? Why does my kit have, like, these weird engineering boots? I just, I don't know why that bothers Like, we're all, we're both wearing onesies, and you're wearing frickin' heels. And, what the? Nah. Nah. Get out. The captain's wearing heels, too. I mean, it's her ship. She can wear what she wants, but it's just like... Why am I the only female character in the game who's decked out in journey. engineering gear? The Torrens is in very good order for an Ignoring old the fact that Ripley's an engineer. She was a wreck when I bought her. It took that. a few years and a lot of sure. contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I think I'm going to put like a target on the camera. Waits, so I'm going to look right? at it and not like I'll the video Sebastopol feed. So I'm looking like at him. the people good. at home. Let's get this done. Put my hand in your face. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector lock. The fuck is that voice so I can from? say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Oh, hey. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Collect your briefing document. Briefing document. Briefing document. Sweet. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. 
I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Yutani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrens. Say again. The station's comms seem pretty screwed up, so our fitted Samuel suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Just shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Fuck happened here? My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Taylor. Just keep moving! I said I was feeling bad for Taylor before. I feel really bad for Taylor. <laughs> Poor girl got frickin' launched off on an EVA. That just sucks. Okay. And with that, ladies and gentlemen at home, we will see you next time on Cantina Club for more Halloween and more Alien Isolation.